feel like I didn't get I didn't get to kiss that much. Yeah. I always miss out on the booth. You know, I get it sometimes, but not all the time. I feel like everyone else makes out way more than I do. Rubbish. How was it coming back for the sequel? It was cool, you know, it was such a such a length of time. I came straight from um literally I finished Euphoria after like two night shoots and then got on an airplane and flew to Africa. Um so there was a dramatic shift there in sort of what I was doing mentally. Um, but there was a nice calm in, um, in going back to Africa and being able to settle into something that I knew how to do and, you know, knew what, what to expect and um, with friends around and stuff like that. So. And as an actor, you just said it was two, two different projects. So how did you handle all of that? Uh, <laughs> I just winged it, you know? I just... Um, there wasn't much I could do about it. Hey, so I kind of just, I feel like Africa was like a, uh, I feel like uh, a long, um, a long sleep is going to be the wrong word, but I was so exhausted the entire shoot because I'd just come off essentially the eight months of filming that I kind of just, you know, then flew however many hours to Africa. I kind of just never really woke up. I don't think I just kind of got through it, you know? I mean, it works. Hmm. It well, totally it. works. Now, this is kind of funny, but when the trailer dropped, a lot of people on Twitter, yes, I know it can be a dark place, said you looked, quote, miserable. So can you set the record straight for us? Because I assume that's not the case. No, no. I don't have a resting miserable face. People always think I look, it's because, you know what it is? It's because I'm, I'm usually thinking a lot about something like an, an insane amount about something ridiculous. I just did an interview before and she asked me a question. And I didn't even hear her say the question because I was thinking about something. So I think that is, uh, that's what happens. And then also people, please, he's like a moody dude, you know? He is. He's like a moody, uh, a moody guy. You know, he's not running around like doing wild all the time, you know? So, um, no, I wasn't miserable. I was bloody <laughs> well, I'm tired. glad to hear it. Yeah, quote that, please. I had a blast. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So how was reuniting with the whole cast for the sequel? It was great. You know, I haven't, I hadn't seen them since basically the first film, some of them. Um, so there was this, um, there was like an excitement, you know, going back and, and doing something and we'd all grown up so much. It had been, you know, it had been over a year. Um, so it was just really nice to, you know, be in a familiar place with, um, with everybody and um, yeah. Now, we got to ask because we are equally obsessed with Euphoria. Can mm -hmm. you tell us anything about season two? Anything? I genuinely can't and not even in like a Hollywood restriction kind of way because the scripts have changed so much. And because we were meant to start filming back at the start of the year, now that we haven't, they've all changed again. And none of us have read them. So I wish I had something to tell you. You know what I mean? And then even then, if we start filming, it'll probably change again by the time it ends. You know, it's constantly evolving that script. That's what we call also being in a pandemic. It's always constantly changing too. Do you know any idea? You have any idea of when you guys might start filming again? No idea at all. Hey, it's just because um, it keeps changing in the US for you guys. Um, but oh, I would... are you in Australia? You got out yeah. of the US? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got out of there. Quick smart. Um, but li literally no idea. I could say next year, but then who knows what next year looks like. You know what I mean? Just no idea. Powers Where do you want to see your character in season two, though? I'm not too sure. We leave it at a pretty intense spot, you know. Um, there's so many ways that it could go. I just hope, um, I kind of hope that he doesn't grow. I hope that, uh, I hope that he kind of has to face himself a little bit more you know what i mean i don't want to just turn around and then that tv thing where he's suddenly a good guy i would like for him because i feel like he's been running from a lot of stuff and it would be awesome to watch him just have to face himself one-on-one -on -one and his uh, and his issues you know 